Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Vicky. Today, I'm going to be talking to you guys all about birth control, which is something I've never in my 14 years of having a YouTube channel, I've never talked about birth control because I never needed it. This video is gonna be telling you guys all about how I am preventing pregnancy. For those of you who don't know, I just had a baby a year ago. I have one balloons behind me. We just celebrated his birthday. I'm just glad that I have successfully made it one year postpartum without getting pregnant. We still got a long way to go, okay? Um, but I did wanna do an in-depth video today talking to you guys about my method of birth control, why I chose it, and just share my experience because I really feel like this is going to be life changing for some of you. And today's video is in partnership with Natural Cycles. If you don't know, I've already talked about Natural Cycles on my Instagram and my TikTok. I was a little shaky, I was a little scared at first, but this has been going so well for me and I just wanted to share this with you guys because I feel like this is a great way to prevent pregnancy or to try to conceive if, you, if that's your if that's your end game. And one of the things I really love about my birth control method is it does give you the option, whereas traditional birth control methods may tend to put you in a box for a time period. If you are looking for something on the middle, like I don't really wanna have a baby right now, but I still wanna leave my options open just in case I do one day and I don't wanna like mess up anything with my body or take anything that might hurt my body, this video is for you. And just know I'm coming from tons of experience with learning about my body and learning what my body needs. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with me and my story, VTalk is a series I started way back in like 2017, I think, where I was basically discovering how to take care of myself because I had just started getting a period like for real, for real. When I started the, the VTalk series, I knew that my body wasn't doing what it was supposed to do and I knew that I needed a little bit of work in the hormone category. After about seven years of trying to get pregnant, I finally did. And miracle, yay, happy, didn't think that could happen. But now that it's happened and I know I'm firm, <laughs> I know my body doing what it's supposed to do. I'm like, how do I stop it from doing what it's supposed to do until the right time? And I know some of you are probably thinking, well, why don't you just let your body do what it's gonna do? Um, there are some medical implications. Uh, there are some, you know, disclaimers that I've been given about getting pregnant too quickly after already having a baby and having a traumatic birth. I think I need a little bit of time to wait to try again um, because, ooh, I don't wanna do that again just yet. Y'all do know it takes like some years, like at least four or five for your body to go back to normal after having a baby. If you have one before that, that's cool and all, but like if you are like me and had a C-section, you are at risk for having all types of complications if you have another C-section and it is not guaranteed that I'll be able to do a VBAC. So, I mean, there's a lot I'm up against, all right? I'm gonna have to fight through the trenches again if I do this again. Needless to say, I obviously know I can get pregnant now. So what do we do about preventing pregnancy when you're not ready? And this was very difficult for me to figure out at first because I knew that even though I'm not ready to have another child, because it did take me so long to conceive and because I knew that traditional birth control options involved using hormones, understanding my hormones and knowing what my body was doing prior to getting pregnant, I just knew that birth control was not gonna be the best option for me, especially if I wanted to have kids again because I don't wanna throw anything off. The crazy thing is, they say you are more fertile after you have a baby, but most people told me, you're not supposed to get your period back while you're breastfeeding, that's what they say. I was breastfeeding and three months after I had my baby, I got my period back. Well, what are you doing here? Haven't seen you in 12 months. Why are you back? Because it's not like I wasn't making milk. It's not like I was trying to breastfeed. No, 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 ma'am. Mm -mm. I was pumping like 50 to 60 ounces a day. Okay, that's a lot of milk. So it seems like my body should have been like signaling, hey, cycle, chill out. We're doing something else right now. But no, I got my period back three months in. So I was pumping in on my period at the same time and I'm just like, this is actual torture. You can imagine what my hormones were doing at that time. <laughs> and knowing that my period was back meant I'm probably uh, gonna ovulate again, which means I need to figure out when I'm ovulating so I can prevent pregnancy. Because at that time, I really wasn't thinking about using protection. H mind you, I had only just started having sex again, you know, six weeks in. I I'd used period tracking apps before, but to me, they aren't as thorough as natural cycles. I, I decided, you know what, I need a solution. I don't wanna use hormonal birth control. 
I downloaded Natural Cycles and I was actually very much pleased with how informative it was for me because y'all know I'm a scientific geek nerdy girl, okay? So I love to know stuff about my body. Natural Cycles is science backed and it's FDA cleared. It's not hormonal, it's non-invasive and it utilizes your body temperature to track the changes throughout your monthly cycle to let you know when you are least fertile and when you are most fertile. It gets data from your body temperatures. It tracks your temperature throughout the month. It lets the app know when it's most likely the day that you're going to ovulate. Now, if you know anything about your cycle, there are different phases of your cycle. Period phase, which is day one, when you start your period, that is the start of a new cycle. When your period ends, you stop bleeding, you are now in your follicular phase. Once you're in your ovulation window, that is the window where you are most likely to be able to conceive because your egg is ready to be fertilized, all right? It's sitting there waiting for the little swimmer to come up and, and you know, do what it gotta do. If nothing happens, you go into your luteal phase and your luteal phase is the phase before you get your cycle where your body is getting ready to shed the lining of the uterus. The app actually takes you through each phase and shows you when during those phases when you're gonna be experiencing different symptoms. Throughout that cycle, your hormones are causing your body to experience different body temperatures. When you subscribe to Natural Cycles, you get sent a free basal thermometer. Make sure you guys check out my description box because I will have a link to where you can sign up for Natural Cycles and you can use my code that's right here on the screen to get some money off of your subscription. You use the thermometer every day to take your temperature. Now, the only thing about the thermometer, you gotta take your temperature at the same time every morning. You cannot get up out of bed before you take your temperature. You have to lay there, take your temperature. If you are like me and you have a child who wakes you up in the middle of the night or you don't wake up the same time every day because of various reasons, you can use Apple Watch to track your temperature or you can use Aura Ring which is what I have. I have the Aura Ring. Absolutely love this ring, by the way. Two separate apps, but it's so much lighter than an Apple Watch. I'm so sorry, I cannot do the Apple Watch. It just, it's so bulky, and I'm not gonna sleep with the Apple Watch on. This is more discreet. I can sleep with it on, and it doesn't bother me. On the inside, there are these trackers that collect data from your finger. And I love it because it's very, very lightweight. It's not heavy at all. Really cute, actually. It looks like a regular ring. And you can shower in it, you can swim in it. It is water resistant. It is a little expensive. Um, I wear it every single day, so I feel like it is getting its cost per wear. Only thing, the only gripe that I got with Aura, it comes with its own charger, specific to your ring size, because you do have to get the right size ring for your finger. There's nowhere to plug up this ring. So if you lose the charger, you out of luck. And you're probably gonna have to order another one and I think they're like $50 to order again and you're gonna have to wait for shipping and stuff. So just don't lose your charger and you can't use it while you're charging it. So you have to like time your chargings because otherwise if you fall asleep and it's not charged up, you won't have any data for the night. And I don't wanna risk not having data because again, I need my daily temperature every day to make sure that I know what my body is doing and if I'm good to go or not. So this is basically what my temperature is doing throughout the month. The baseline temperature is right in the middle. So that's my baseline temperature. That is what my temperature is usually at when I'm not going through any hormonal fluctuations, which is literally only like maybe two days out the month. And then your hormonal temperature is what goes up and down. Typically when I'm on my period, my temperature is be below the line. So I have a lower body temperature. Once I go into my fertile window, it kind of stays low. And then right before you ovulate, it takes a little dip and then you ovulate and it shoots up. That's when your progesterone is increasing in your body and it creates this heat wave. And if you're anything like me, you be sweating. The app is able to calculate based on where your temperature is or what phase your cycle is in. You could do this without natural cycles, but it's so much easier with the app because the app gives you red and green days. All right, I'm currently in my luteal phase, so it says not fertile, big and bold right there. Now on red days, those are the days that you're gonna be most fertile or you're leading up to your ovulation day. It's gonna be red and it's gonna say, don't have sex, because you will get pregnant. No, I'm just kidding. It'll give you a nice, big, bold, red circle here, and it'll say, use protection. Be careful, girl. Don't play with me. And sperm can stay alive in your body for up to five days. After you ovulate, 
typically about 24 hours after that, you got your green days again, you're in your luteal phase. It's going based on what your body is doing. It's not going based on what everybody else normally experiences or what typically happens with a period or, you know, like some of these apps kind of go based on, well, a normal period, you will ovulate on day 14 or 15. No, this goes based on your body temperature. So if your body temperature rises immediately after your period and you start ovulating, then it's gonna say, hey girl, don't have sex these days because this when your body temperature is going up it's letting you know what's happening with your body which why i really like it because it's so specific to me and it's telling me exactly what's going on with my body it's just as effective as using a hormonal birth control it's 93 percent effective with typical use which means if you use it almost perfectly but not really you know if you slip up a few times it's 93 percent but if you use it like to the t you follow the instructions you make sure you get your temperature in every single day you put in all of your data and you don't have any unprotected sex during your ovulation window when you are most fertile on red days it is 98 percent effective almost the same as using hormone birth control hormone birth controls some of them are like 99 percent effective but again i know people who've gotten pregnant on birth control so there is no perfect there is no 100 percent guaranteed way to stop pregnancy unless you literally get a hysterectomy even people who've gotten their tubes tied have gotten pregnant miracles happen okay whether you want them to or not along with taking your temperature every day temperature is a must but the other optional ways that have been helping me to make sure that i know exactly when i'm ovulating I take uh, LH, which is ovulation tests. Um, the app will tell me the best days to, uh, to LH test. I have a box of them. I got them off Amazon. I'll put them in my Amazon storefront. And I test for ovulation around my fertile window. If it's negative, that means that I'm not about to start ovulating. But if it's positive, that means that my body is has the LH, the luteinizing hormone present, which means I'm about to ovulate within the next 24 to 48 hours. Typically, during those days, I abstain. There have been times where I just couldn't. And so we did have to use some type of protection, whether that be contraception or just pulling out. Pull out method is very scary. Do not recommend zero out of 10. It's like you were reading a book and you didn't finish it. Like you were watching a movie and then you were just like, okay, I'm gonna stop like 10 minutes before the movie ends. If you trust pull out, girl, do all the pull out you want. Just know it is not the safest way to prevent pregnancy. So if you are ovulating in, in your ovulation window and you just decide to pull out, please be careful. Your uh, temperature will show up here at the top and then you can put in any information you need. So if you started your period, you can put you, that you started your period. If you had sex, you can put protected, unprotected, um, or none. And if you tested LH, you did an LH test, you can put positive or negative. Or the beta feature that I like, you can just take a picture of your ovulation strip and it'll tell you whether or not it's positive or negative. I like that because I can't retest. If you see my uh, me finding out I was pregnant video, you know I can't retest. Also, you can put in your cervical mucus. So if you have cervical mucus, you can put the amount and the consistency. You can put if your sex drive is low or high, what your skin is doing, and any other pains or, and symptoms and how you're feeling. I put in everything I can, especially when I'm around my ovulation window, I try to put in as much data as I can because then it'll signal the app the next time I put that data in, oh, she probably fertile because she felt this last month. Um, so I love this app, man. It's just so intuitive. After you've gone through a couple cycles, um, you'll have some really good data. When I first started out, I only had maybe like 50% green days, which is not good because that means like only half the month I was able to have unprotected sex. Now I'm at 70% green days, if you can see that there which means that 70% of the month, I am good to go. That's really good compared to 50, 50% 50 was killing me. It gives you really great stats about your cycle over time. It'll let you know when your ovulation is most likely to occur. Mine is on four, day 14. That's how I know my cycle is like really, really regular now, which is crazy because again, before having a baby, I never really knew when to even try to conceive. And to this day, we still don't know when I actually conceived. But after having a baby, my cycle has been the most regular it's ever been in my life. He healed my body. I don't know what he did while he was in there, but he must have put some wires back together that wasn't crossing. It's been pretty great because I don't really even have to look at the app and I don't know when I'm ovulating because I know, okay, usually around this time of the month, I'm putting in my app like, girl, I'm feeling it. And it's only like one day out of the month where I'm kind of considering like, maybe having a baby wouldn't be so bad. And that's only during ovulation time. Then right after I ovulate, I'm like, I hate everyone, don't touch me. And that's my body just telling me those things. I'm not thinking that. Like, I'm very aware that I don't need to have another one right now, but my body really be telling me when I'm ovulating, it'd be like, girl, just, just hop on him. Just hop on him and see what happens. And I'm like, no, don't do it. I literally told my husband, I'm in my ovulation window 
Do not listen to anything I say, I'm delusional. But what I do also love about the Natural Cycles app is there is a partner view. So my husband is also synced to the app and on his phone he can see when I am most fertile, when I'm not. So he already knows what's going on with me. I don't even really gotta tell him for real. Prior to me getting pregnant and me not really knowing my cycle phases like that, I wouldn't know why I'm so moody. I wouldn't know why I don't like him today and the next day I do. But now that I know what cycle phase I'm in and I have an app that's literally telling me, girl, you are in your follicular phase. That's why you love everyone right now. That's why you have so much energy. And then like during certain parts of the month, I have these little messages that I get and it'll let me know like, Hey girl, your period's coming up. You're probably gonna feel a little bit of PMS. Maybe you should stay off the caffeine a little bit. Maybe you should ease up on eating sugar. Like it, we best friends at this point cause she be telling me everything I need to know. For me these days, my period really isn't as bad as it used to be. Back when I wasn't able to conceive, like before I had my baby, my period would be treacherous. Like I would get really bad cramps. I would just be hormonal all over the place, crying, just, not having it. But ever since I had a baby, it feels like my periods are not as bad. I don't get cramps like that at all. Typically they only last four or five days. I'm not bleeding super, super heavy. And the other thing that I've noticed, I'm much happier during my period. And I think it's really just because of my mindset. I've shifted from, dang, I hate being on my period to thank the Lord I'm not pregnant again. So I feel like maybe that's why I'd be so happy during my period. Cause I'm just like, I'm just glad to say the baby. Cause I didn't want to go through that again. Again, I feel like my baby healed me, but maybe that's just me. The more I know about my body, the more informed I am, the better decisions that I can make personally. And if anything goes wrong, or if there's anything that's thrown out of whack, I know immediately because I'm like, okay, this is this has not been happening with the trend of what my body's been doing for the past six months. So maybe there is something going wrong here. The other thing I love is like, if I'm planning a trip or something, and I, I, I'm gonna get a little frisky on that trip. I know whether or not I can because I can see like months later. Now, the only thing that does happen, sometimes your body shifts a little bit due to life changes, it happens. And then your calendar shifts a little bit. So I wouldn't put too much stock in months in advance because you never know what your body's gonna do. And again, even if my body changes, if something happens, I can see it happening in real time through the app. Like I said earlier in this video, if you are trying to conceive, you can still use this app. What's amazing about this is because you have the information on when you are most fertile, you can use this to conceive. You can say, okay, this week I'm gonna be most fertile. So those are the days that I need to get it popping. I hope this was informative and helpful to you guys. I don't know if I answered every single question that y'all might have, but if you have any questions, please let me know um, because I love talking about stuff like this. I love VTalk videos. I love informing you guys on what I've been informed on, especially for my girlies who are trying to conceive, maybe you're getting married soon and you don't wanna get pregnant on your honeymoon. Uh, or if you're just curious, like I love having information and being informed about my body and I love making the best decision possible based on the information that I have. So I really feel like this would be helpful to those of you who are in those different stages of your life and you just want more information. Definitely check out the Natural Cycles app. I will have a link in the description box. I'll also have a link to the Aura Ring if you guys wanna check the Aura Ring out as well. I love the Aura. It's just a kick punch combo that I really, really enjoy. So I will have both of those links in the description box for you guys. Also, if you need links to anything else, let me know and I'll be happy to put that in there for you, like what I have on or whatever, I got you. And yeah, that's it. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.